Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are here for the very first time, we do a lot of fragrance reviews here. I post about four to five videos per week. And if that sounds like something that interests you guys, please do consider joining this family by subscribing. To those who are returning, thank you so much guys for the continued support. Welcome to a dupe compilation video. Uh, some of you like me to do this style of video, you know, from time to time. So I thought, to group 50 most accurate uh, dupes and some of them with the performance to match. So we're going to go straight to the first one. I'm not sure whether I'm going to post this video first or I'm going to post a review of this one, Bibliotique by Milestone. Uh, th this fragrance, guys, is obviously duping by Redos Bibliotique. It has like a, like a parchment paper kind of feel to it, a bit leathery there. This fragrance interprets that very well and it also has the light lasting power to match you know it also has that like almost stale offish plum and peach you are going to get that from this fragrance as well so milestone perfumes bibliotheque is a dupe of byredo's Bibliotic. The second one, guys, is from Paris Corner. This is your Jean Paul Gaultier Le Beau dupe. Has that coconut uh, feel to it. Uh, takes you on a vacation. A beautiful bubblegum undertone right there. Fresh and spicy, a bit like tonic too. So if you're interested in a dupe for Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Beau, uh, you can, you know, purchase this Paris Corner Kahila Platinum from their Emir collection. Next up, guys, and this is a Delina dupe, Swiss Arabian Rose O. If you are looking for a 101, almost identical uh, copy of Delina with the performance to match to an extent, I would say maybe this one even performs a little better. Uh, you can go ahead and buy Rose 01. I have a second Delina dupe uh, uh, that I'm going to show you, you know, in the course of the video. But I thought to get this one out of the way, especially for beast mode lovers, it might not be the cheapest. But I had to put this one because performance, guys, this one is not going to disappoint. So Rose 01 is a parallel to Delina. Now next on the lineup guys is Kismet for Women. I did do a full review of this fragrance. Kismet for Women is your good girl gone bad uh, by Killian Attempt. Okay so if you're looking for that fragrance this is one for you. It's going to give you an apricot opening uh, but it dries down to like a subtle soapy fragrance with that powderiness and those white florals. So if that sounds like something that interests you guys this is going to uh, do it for you. Kismet for women by Maison Alhambra. Next up, guys, is Latafa Aura. I had a couple of subscribers asking me where they could purchase some of these fragrances. Uh, I saw this one on uh, Notino UK, and this is a fragrance that will give you the feel of Baccarat Rouge 540. So if you're looking for an affordable alternative uh, right there, you can go ahead and purchase this one. Another impressive uh, dupe, guys, with the performance to match is going to be Abraj Carmine. Abraj Carmine by F.A. Paris is an Amouage Crimson Rocks dupe. It's a mature, spicy uh, scent. It has a little bit of some sweetness there uh, and a spicy rose especially, but it is beastly in performance. So definitely going to tick the boxes for beast mode lovers. Next up here, guys, is Zara's Frosted Cream. I did a full review of this one. Beautiful representation of Mont Blanc signature and has that creaminess there so you've got to love a creamy forward fragrance with that lush manolia doing the most and a bananary kind of ylang ylang so that was Azara's frosted cream the next one on the lineup guys is going to be again from Maison Alhambra and this is Kismet for men. Um, this I'm going to have to say must be a Roche's moustache dupe. This one is being packaged in the line that seems to be duping the Killians. Uh, but this does not have anything to do, guys, especially with Black Phantom. I don't get a rumminess from this fragrance. I don't get a chocolatiness from this fragrance. I also don't get almonds from this fragrance. Maison Alhambra have released a fragrance called The Tux, if, if I'm not mistaken. So... And this was often likened to uh, YSL's Tuxedo, but that tax that they have re released um, is supposed to be duping Tuxedo 101. So I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a Roach's Moustache uh, dupe. But of course, if you like this kind of scent profile, Roach's Moustache, YSL Tuxedo, you are definitely going to love Kismet for men. But uh, I wouldn't recommend that you buy this one looking for a black phantom dupe. Next up is Club the Nui by uh, Amaf. Amaf does a pretty 
decent job on some of their dupes and this one is one i think that made or that put a moth on the limelight why because it's a chanel coco mademoiselle dupe i have a chanel coco mademoiselle uh, vial and i did wear these ones side by side on each of my uh, hands because i wanted to see to what an extent guys and i can assure you that if you are looking for an alternative for coco mademoiselle then this is definitely going to do it for you a moth club the nui women uh, patchouli number seven is from paris corner now paris corner has a couple of sub lines they have the pandora they have the north stage they have the amir uh, but what i can say about the amir line is it looks like it's the creme de la creme of paris corner this line seems to be well done or at least the ones that i've gotten my nose on have never disappointed this is a van cleef and a pearls moonlight patchouli dupe gonna satisfy anyone who loves patchouli but what i can say about this one is it gives a watered down presentation comes across as very fresh but definitely parallel to van cleef and appel's moonlight patchouli now guys i hope you are enjoying the dupe compilation binge these like i said in the opening of this video are you know the most accurate dupes and some of them with the performance to match please do uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already this one is ebony fume by um fragrance world i did do a side by side testing of this with uh tom ford's ebony fume and this one does of course interpret that fragrance almost accurately so if you're into biker you know leather like uh leaning fragrances with the woods there a bit of some smokiness a resinous fragrance fragrance you know if you will then ebony fume is going to be one that saves you a lot of money because of course it is duping uh that tom ford's ebony fume so sitting at number 11 is fragrance world ebony fume next on the lineup guys is art al zafran another tom ford uh dupe this one is a duping black orchid this will give you everything that tom ford black orchids represents except the stuffiness so this seems to be more wearable at least to my nose if you're like me who wants a lighter take of tom ford's black orchid definitely one that i would recommend they are our zafran oud 24 hours next up guys is a latest acquisition to my collection i'm gonna have to emphasize very sweet now this is your angel nova dupe uh also gonna impress those who like uh alive now intense from yugo boss uh very berry forward scent there bubbly sweet and very long lasting so if you were on the hunt for an angel nova dupe uh here it is guys good news for you maison alhambra alive now this is from le Reef taste of kiss just by looking at this bottle i think it will kind of remind you of lancome's uh, le nuit trésor this is indeed a dupe for le nuit trésor if you have used the original you will know that it does have quite a thick rose there very sweetened scent long lasting i get that but i have to say that you know the rose in here is a bit subtle this one is from le Reef and is called taste of kiss next up is another cheapy and this one is uh, from elizabeth taylor i believe uh this one the modern muse le rouge by esther Lauder, has been discontinued if i am mistaken then guys are stand to be corrected but what i can say is if you're looking for this this is definitely going to satisfy your nose because it does interpret this uh, scent perfectly and to top it off elizabeth taylor's and rouge is a beastly guys so your alternative to esther lauder's modern muse le rouge is gonna be from uh elizabeth taylor's white diamond line and it's called en rouge next up guys is gonna be from swiss arabia and this is a valencia beautiful apple fragrance a uh dupe of montau's starry nights and or if you have used starry nights it is a very sweet fragrance valencia has that sweetness but the sweetness is not the same as that of starry nights where it kind of crosses over to toothache sweet it does have like a masculine touch to it there uh, as it dries down this masculine touch you might experience maybe in the two hour mark uh, but if you don't mind that this is definitely one fragrance that's going to be a great alternative for montau's starry nights or just as a standalone 
The next one, guys, is going to be from Ted Lapidus. Uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one fragrance that feels a lot like uh, La Via Belle. I wasn't on the hunt for another La Via Belle, but this was gifted to me by my sister. Ted Lapidus has got a lot of fragrances. So if you're looking for a Lancome's La Via Belle dupe, Ted Lapidus is in the same vein as Lancome's La Via Belle. Next up, guys, is my latest obsession. I love Latafa Sandals. Uh, I did a full review of this fragrance. Reason why I am so obsessed with this fragrance is it takes me to that Miss Dior Cherie uh, that was discontinued. When I smelled this, I smelled similarities. It took me right there. If you haven't smelled that Miss Dior Cherie, I'm gonna say this is a caramel forward fragrance with that peach and something that feels like pineapple. And this does not smell Middle East. Number 19 is gonna be Zara golden decade one of the most long-lasting zaras out there it is your ysl lib intense dupe it's unisex leaning to my nose um also is forward in that lavender tonka and the orange blossom slightly headache inducing you know to me one that can be a bit stuffy as well so you may want to be considerate when you spray this one depending on whether it's a hot or cold day uh, but this is an upbeat fragrance guys zaras golden decade guys i did do a full review of this fragrance uh latafa saffron lothram mask this is a molecular based fragrance it is your earthy scent a bit sour there powdery with a saliva leaning mask it's in the same vein as you know the molecular all one fragrances the problem with this one is some people may be anosmic to it okay because of that iso e super molecule uh, note so this is going to be definitely great for layering because it does have that you know essential molecule there and I did have a subscriber plug me in on this one. They said this fragrance is a molecule one plus iris dupe. Um, I wasn't aware of that, but I thought to plug you in. This is Latafa's Safwan Luthre Mask. On number 21, if you're looking for that early sub girl of now fragrance, if you're into nutty fragrances, pistachio forward fragrances, if you want, you know, that early sub girl of now dupe, yeah. misguided boss babe is going to do it for you. So guys, we are on number 22 and moving on this is the fragrance that i'm here to talk about uh paris corner emir again and this is this one's called ultra citrus this is your Guerlain's uh le frenchy dupe and with the performance to match a uh, citrus is as you know maybe very volatile you know with a very minimal lasting power but i think you know the use here of crushed leaves and branches from that petite grain managed to give this one a little bit of some longevity if you are on the hunt for Guerlain le frenchy the dupe then this is definitely one that I would recommend from Paris Corner and it's called Ultra Citrus. The very next fragrance, guys, is the only one that I own from Sterling and Flavia Perfumes. But Sterling and Flavia Perfumes are a subsidiary of Amaf. This particular one is called the Georgians the Lionheart. If you're looking for a leather forward, tobacco forward scent with rum, a complex fragrance, if you will, it is parallel to Penhaligon's Roaring Red Cliff. I think this particular line is kind of creeping in. So if you cannot find this one, I'm pretty sure you know with time this fragrance is going to be accessible to a lot of people so definitely one to purchase there if you are after a pen halligan's roaring red cliff Dude. This one is Fragrance Wells Cocktail Intense. This fragrance is very similar to Angel's Shade. It is dense, which is something that I also get from the original uh, Angel's Shade. Now, because of that oil concentration, do take note that this is a fragrance that you, the wearer, are going to enjoy the most, you know, than people around you. So if you're looking for that uh, Killian's Angel's Shade dupe, then Fragrance Wells Cocktail Intense is one that I definitely recommend. Moving on, guys, we have Sultan Noir Valeur by Jean Arthur. Is. This is a dupe house as well. Probably not as popular, but they do make uh, dupes. Salta Noir Valeurs is uh, similar to Bovary Jasmine Noir, uh, the EDT version. This translates to a light fragrance, which is what you get from Bovary's Jasmine Noir EDT. Also a very ideal summer scent, and it is here on our number 25. Sitting on number 26 is Amir Al Oud Intense by Latafa. A very smoky key intense uh, fragrance it does of course have a vanilla there uh, and it is inspired by Maison Magellas uh, by the fireplace so if that sounds like something that you're interested in definitely a good dupe to try there from Latafa Amir Al Oud 
intense next up is a zara guys if you're interested in a zara dupe compilation list i did put together i think 130 zaras side by side with what they were inspired by just for ease of reference and for the dupe compilation list you will find them in the playlist and they are actually titled dupe compilation lists this particular one is called tropical boost um this one is inspired by mark jacobs perfect hey, zara did absolutely nail this one this is your tropical scent it has those summer vibes if you want a mark jacobs perfect uh dupe then you may want to try tropical boost by zara amorph italiano donna is up next and this fragrance is a dupe of dolce and gabbana pore farm intense and it does interpret that fragrance pretty well amorph does have fragrances that perform uh, as good as the original so this is definitely an alternative i will put out there if you're looking for dng pore farm intense um number 29 is going to be evoke gold by ajmal a latest acquisition in my collection beautiful fragrance overall this opens up very sweet i did you know say in the full review if you want to watch that one that to me it gives me dry, a dry down that feels very similar to lib intense uh, but it opens up like a uh, dng gold women so it feels like uh you know a fusion of both fragrances to outright call it a dng gold intense uh dupe you know i think i would mislead people but i do get a dry down that is very similar leading to ysl's leap uh whether it's the you know parfum or the intense is entirely up to you i do get that in the dry down so ashmal evoke gold is one recommendation now, number 30 you. is going to be this one fa paris rose to Privé. this fragrance i have been using uh in my closet more than on myself i've got to be honest with that uh, because it does have like a chemical thing here that makes me sneeze but fa paris rose de privé is your alternative to amani's rose de rabi so if you're interested in a jammy rose mixing with a light oud then this is definitely an alternative fa paris rose de privé this is emir uh paris corners emir forbidden sugar and uh, this one is parallel to frank bockler's sugar uh, if you like your super sweet fragrances it's a savory sweet scent and they've gone ahead to call theirs Forbidden Sugar by Paris Corner. The next fragrance on this list, guys, is going to be from Paris Corner again from the Emir collection. And this one is a Vibrant Orange and Neroli. This is your zesty fragrance. But what that this fragrance does is it does not end up just focusing on the zest. It does have that cotton candy kind of marshmallowy feel to it. So if you don't mind that, this is a fragrance that you may want to, uh, you know, add to your collection. And it is inspired by Bayredo's sunday now the next one guys is prime and this is by milestone perfumes this is inspired by frederick Mao's promise it is a loud fragrance three four sprays may be too much it has this beautiful pretty um jammy rose but there is something here again that comes across as a bit chemical it's one that i haven't been reaching out so much for because it just gives me like really violent headaches uh, but if you wanted to try frederick Mao's promise you may want to look into purchasing milestone prime perfume the next fragrance is a can okay and this is a latafa i did spray it in Store. I'm just showing you for reference. This is Ladath by Latafa, and it's off their uh, it's off their Latafa Pride collection. This to me is an identical copy of Monsera's Roses Vani. Will I add it to my collection? No. I think I've got enough, you know, copies of Monsera's Roses Vani. If that's something up your alley, you may want to buy, you know, Ladath. It comes in a beautiful uh, rose bottle, just like this, but just gorgeous rose bottle and the the lot. You know how Latafa does their things. Now the next fragrance that is worth checking out is Barakat Gentle Gold. This is obviously duping MFK's uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold. This is a beautiful soft vanilla does have juniper berries included here obviously the original by mfk must be a gorgeous fragrance because this on its own i cannot fault it so if you want to put your nose on this particular dupe this is called baraka gentle gold now next up is voila by swiss arabian a beautiful uh fresh slightly green scent this is inspired by parfums de mali's per percival uh the swiss arabians themselves are not very much on the affordable side but i think the quality matches the prices Walla by Swiss Arabia is inspired by Parfums de Mali's 
pestle and then talk of you know budget friendly fragrances they don't come any cheaper than the maison alhambra ones fleur narcotique is the fragrance that we're going after here by ex nihilo this particular one is called narcotic flower it's your light scent it does have the lychee so if you want to put your nose on a dupe uh, for fleur narcotique by ex nihilo this is your alternative from maison alhambra and it's called narcotic flower the next fragrance guys is a softy in a giant bottle this is one of the new releases from latafa it is amongst the collection of three of two more fragrances making this one the third one there is mahia just mahia and then there is mahia black and this is mahia legacy okay legacy is duping a apart from zdamali as well um it's duping sadly it is your freshy kind of scent okay it does have like a lemony thing there masculine in nature but can be worn by women because the fragrance composition in itself feels very soft uh, something that is totally wearable unfortunately this is one that you may have to reapply but for the price versus what it is duping Parfum Zimali Sedley then this is absolutely one that I would recommend for you uh, Latafa's Mahia Legacy another fragrance i think would definitely make the top 10 beastly fragrances from zara is going to be fields at nightfall and if you can see just by my bottle i haven't used this one a lot because this is a fragrance that also is headache inducing to me fields at nightfall by zara is a dupe for zadig and voltaire this is her very floral forward in terms of performance from the Zara's, I'll put it in the same bracket as Golden Decade. I would think this would definitely make the top 10 longest lasting Zara's. Definitely want to look out for their Zara's Fields at Night. Next fragrance is Latafa's Elite Just White. I call this one a gym scent. This is an easy reach out of the shower fragrance. Uh, performs exactly uh, like what it is representing, which is Lacoste White. I think there's letters after that. I might mishmash them, but I know it's an L.1212 or something like that so that lacoste if uh you wanted to try what it smells like and this one turns out to be cheaper then absolutely a recommendation there from latafa and this one is called elite just white fragrance world okay i think by now you guys are familiar with the fragrance world fragrance is shalina exclusive okay obviously duping delina exclusive by popham's de mali this fragrance guys leaves up to what it is duping however do expect a maybe powdered forward scent with a little bit of more incense so if that doesn't bother you then definitely want to purchase their shalina exclusive by fragrance world latafa released a pair of these fragrance the first one was the musk one that i said it's a molecular or one a leaning fragrance this one on the other end has oud and vanilla let me say though that the oud here does not bother me this one has been said to be duping lancome's lutre oud uh, and to what extent i am not privy to say that because i'm not 100 percent certain but uh the uh, there's been a lot of uh you know uh, suggestions that this one is duping lancome's lutre oud I have it here just to talk about it on its own. This gives me a lot of vanilla, guys. I do get a lot of vanilla there and some oud. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Amir Al Oud, but feels like a subtler take to it. So if you don't like that upbeat smokiness that you get from Amir Al Oud, this is definitely going to do it for you. I would also say this one is very close to my nose in interpretation as Vanilla 28 by Keali. If that sounds like something you may want to add to your collection, then yes, absolutely want to purchase there from Latin. Latafa, Latafa Safwan, Lothri Oud. Another one, you know, here is this one uh, from Emir Collection. And this one's called Wayward Charlie. A dupe for Frank Brockler's Cocaine. Uh, if you love your coconut forward fragrances, uh, something along the lines of um, this one, Tom Ford's Orchid Soleil, because I do get a lot of Tom Ford Orchid Soleil in this one as well. When I checked the years of production, it looks like Orchid Soleil was there first. So maybe uh, Frank Brockler also duped or you know orchid solel all need to be duped by paris corner and they have this one called way but charlie the only thing i want to mention about this one is it does have a, a manoi oil and that manoi oil is a bit over the top so when i say coconut it's like a concentration of that manoi oil so this fragrance interprets as a very oily it's not going to give you more creamy it's going to give you like a an oily coconut and for some that can be too much it can be a bit nauseating it can be annoying so it's a dna that you may maybe want to try first before you pull the trigger a mere wayward charlie 
Fragrance World do have a Delina dupe and this one's called Shalina. The performance here is perfect. I think it does actually live up to what it is duping. Interprace the fragrance very well, lasting up to eight hours and duping Popoms Dumali's Delina. Keali's Love First Burning Cherry. I did a Keali rating where I rated all my Keali's. I've got eight in my collection at the moment. This one I said I was not going to purchase simply because I do have Lost Cherry in full size. I do have uh, Zara's Cherry Smoothie as a dupe i do have lost cherry oil dupes so i don't think i need another one but i did purchase this one just to make sure so if you were looking for a dupe to match this is definitely one that i would recommend guys the difference there is i think this one is a bit almondy forward if that is something that interests you you may want to purchase this one we're almost at the end of the video guys and do remember to subscribe if you haven't already now the next fragrance here is 007 women 3 by james bond this is a light e Easy fragrance to reach inspired by Lancome's Hypnose so if it's a fragrance that you had your eye on and you wanted a really budget friendly fragrance then definitely try this one by James Bond and this is called 007 Women 3. The next fragrance is Diwania by Lamuse. Diwania is inspired by Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy. Um, if you want that fragrance, uh, this is going to be an alternative. That is, if you cannot get your hands on the real thing, because obviously Fantasy is one of the cheapies out there. This is your sweet fragrance, guys. It has the plum there and the raspberry. Very much sugared feel to it and a powdered iris. Uh, very youthful, very lively, that sort of thing. And if that ticks your boxes, uh, Lamuse the one year is the one for now, you. another one from latafa guys is going to be this one this is confidential private gold i think this was one of the first kirke dupes and this is the reason why i haven't bothered buying other dupes i uh am content with this one this is a very sweet fragrance it's quite fruity as well it has a little bit of a muscularness there in the mix and obviously inspired by kirke it's a decent dupe over really now the last one guys is going to be this one this is latafa satur uh, I'm going to put this one as an honorable mention, and this is for people that may have missed the other dupe compilation videos. The Tafas Tour is inspired by Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. Why I'm calling it an honorable mention is this one has got a vertebrae that pulls it a little bit masculine. So if you are a male and you want your fragrance to have that masculine touch, uh, not to say Bitter Peach is feminine, but I'm saying this one will have that vertebrae masculine feel to it. So if you're a man and you preferred your Bitter Peach with a little bit of some masculine then definitely the toughest tool is one that i would recommend for you so there you have it guys i think we ended up doing over 50 pretty accurate dupes and some of them uh living up to expectation in terms of performance i do hope you enjoyed watching this video i am obviously going to bring you more dupes in the future thank you so much guys for joining me today let's me in the comment section guys where we discuss more about fragrances c chronicles is my name like and share this video if you do like it and do turn on post notifications that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video and most importantly guys please do remember to subscribe and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.